How do social skills and being nice come into play at startups? So Google did a uh, study of many of its uh, performing teams and they originally thought that the best performing teams were led by the smartest or most talented leaders. It turns out that their best performing teams were led by their nicest leaders. Young people want to feel validated. They want to know that they can go into a boss's office and share a personal problem or a business problem and not be condemned for it, but like a mentor or a good boss, help work through the problem. So being nice turns out to have a huge impact. And you know, this was one of the hardest lessons in the book because I feel like I grew up in an environment where the takeaway from my father was nice guys finish last. And what's amazing is um, I found the balance is I don't believe I ever shook hands in business where I didn't honor my word. Having a good name and a good reputation is critical. Um, being nice, being sensitive, being fair are things that are really important. And I probably can think of a lot of examples, but the takeaway from Tiger 21 is I'm always surprised by Number one, generally how nice, how unpretentious, and how honorable our members are. And it's not just because they're saints. You can't build large organizations and have people wanting to follow you if they don't really trust you or believe in you. Of course, there are exceptions to the rule, but that's the big takeaway for me.